Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on how to display ship reports on the Google Earth. Now, I'm not entirely sure how useful this is as a general tool, but we end up showing all reports. But I do need to reference this for another, uh, another process that, or another video I'm going to make shortly. I want to just say how to do, uh, to do this. So I, this is an explanation of how to do it. So, uh, and also, it's a little bit unusual. So here's the first thing. The, the, I don't know of any link online to this. And I frankly don't know how I found it or when I found it. But uh, here's what you do. It seems like this would be prominent somewhere, but if somebody knows where it is, they could post it on, on the comments. But here's what you do. You do a, uh, a Google search on this phrase right here, where this is the keyhole markup language. That's the format that uh, Google Earth uses. And you'll end up at this link. So let's just uh, show that. I come in here, Command V, say Enter. Now you get to this link here, and then you just right, right click, Save Link As, and then I'll save it. Okay, so that's the data. Now uh, we don't need that anymore. N oh, actually, no. What do I need now? I need my. Uh, I need to. Okay, so there it is in my downloads folder. So just left click that and drag it and drop it onto Google Earth like that. And so here's all these ship reports. Now what you'd want to do is I'm, I'm yeah, I don't know if you see this. I'm up in the Google Earth, uh, I'm Google Earth Pro, oh, Google Earth under the View tab and I'm showing the sidebar. So here is the file that we loaded right here. It's called Marine Observations. Uh, let's see, can I expand that? Marine Observations Program, this here. Now, what it's going to do is show you every single observation in the world. And so these are the ones we're after for now, the ship reports. And then you can just click them, and that'll be the latest data. That'll be the latest data. Here's a buoy. Now, that's why this is not, you could come down where you know there's a real buoy like uh let's see i think that's a real buoy yeah there's a real buoy but we're after just the ship reports so what you would do is come back over here to this display go up to here and shut the whole thing off shut it off completely then go down the list you may have to expand one of these to show that go down the list and just turn on the ships bang so now you have this is what I this is what we need for another another video I want to make. We have an email service now where you can send an email and just give a latitude and longitude and we'll email you back all the ship reports plus a GPX file that you can load them right into your charting program. And but this is a way that if you want to play with that you can uh, see where the ships are in the first place so you know where to ask. When you're underway you would probably ask where you are. So anyway, that's the end of that. Then you for sh then what you want to do is go back up here and save this. Uh, temp you can do, uh, let's see, uh, right click, save my place. Okay, you save that. No, wait, cancel. No, uh, m maybe the easiest thing is just close Google Earth and then say save. And then once you do that, it'll show up. Uh, it'll show up there when you open Google Earth again.